So this is the vertical fin root rib, and we're just going to do a quick tutorial on how I'm going to form it. And what I've already done is I've cut out the blank, deburred it, I've clamped it between the form blocks, I've put the uh, starting points for the flutes in it with my homemade fluting pliers. Give you a little bit of a view of that. Uh, maybe I'll go into detail on a blog post how I made these, but it's they're homemade. You can buy these. You don't have to make them. Um, on the form block, I actually did harden the nose of it with thin super glue. That makes the wood a lot harder and it helps form this small radius. So uh, it's in the vise. The C-clamps help hold it tight together because if you don't have the C-clamps, it'll tend to pull away and you won't get a nice bend. And it, it looks like these are going to be in the way, but you'll see that they're not because you can move them. So basically, we're just going to start like this. The dead blow hammer got the lead shot inside. Uh, works better than a rubber hammer. When you get to a C clamp, you just move it out of the way. And work past it, move it out of the way. And you kind of do it evenly so you don't bend it a lot in one spot. And that's about as far as we're going to go there. And then we're going to work on this leading edge radius with this little brass hammer. And again, you do it a little bit at a time. And now we're going to deepen these flutes just a little bit. So we're going to come back in the original locations. Squeeze them a little more. Go back to the dead blow hammer. And as you can see, I'm not actually just hitting straight down, I'm kind of hitting and pulling. And that helps as well. Switch back to the brass hammer. We've got a little bit of a wrinkle forming right there. We can work that out later. Just don't want to let it get too out of control. And that's it. This one doesn't actually get formed to a full 90. It's left open a little bit. Work on that leading edge a little bit more. Alright. And now, same thing on the other side. We'll come back to it when we pull it off the form block. We've got it flipped around. We've got the C-clamps moved to the other side. And basically, same as we did before. Start by working down it. hammer up here on the small radius and then we're gonna tighten up the clamps a little bit oh, big old elbow <laughs> as you can see we have all the animals out here helping too because building an airplane is a family affair
All right. Cat sometimes gets in the way. <laughs> That'll make for some pretty funny comments on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, kitty. <laughs> hey, at least I didn't hear it with the hammer. All right, we got one last piece oh, to bench. <laughs> and then it's the tail piece. I'm so sorry. All right, and that is the basic forming of the rib. If you want to come around here and look at the little radius on the front, this is what a lot of people have a lot of trouble with. Uh, this might be a little bit thinner. The plans call for a five millimeter flange. This may be only about <clears> four. <throat> it's dark right here. Yeah. But the real trick is to harden this wood with CA and use this little brass hammer. And you, you kind of want to start working it as soon as you start doing the flange. Don't wait till later or you'll get wrinkles right here. And it'll try to crack. So uh, yeah. that's pretty much it. The Check rest of it is just... Uh, Take it off the form block, and then you know there's going to be more work. There'll be straightening to do. Maybe we'll do a little video on how to straighten up the flanges. But this is pretty much how to form a rib, and this technique can be used on wing ribs as well. A rib is a rib is a rib. Parts is parts. Parts is parts. For those of our age who remember those markers. Now, this is going to be bent like a banana when you take out the four blocks. You can already see that it's actually bending. So don't freak out when it's sprung like a, a bent banana and doesn't even want to come off the form block because of it. There you go. And you straighten that up by deepening these flutes with your flute and pliers, and then work on the, the flange. But as you can see, you got a little bit to straighten up there. This side's pretty good. A few more minutes of work, and that'll be a rib. Mm, ribs. Rib.